Santa Fe, New Mexico. Now, many of you are, are asking yourself, why am I talking about Santa Fe, New Mexico from the beautiful Fort Wayne, Indiana area? Well, the reality is, I forgot to do a selfie whenever I was in Santa Fe, New Mexico to talk about things I wish I would have known, and because of that, I'm doing it now. Now, if you're driving to Santa Fe, New Mexico from Fort Wayne, Indiana, it's a 24-hour drive. If you're flying with a group of people, it'd probably be cheaper to go ahead and just fly into Albuquerque, New Mexico and rent a car and just drive an hour north. So travel and leisure rated Santa Fe as number four as the best cities for gay travel. So come out and visit Santa Fe, New Mexico, a city different at every turn. Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's a beautiful place to live and visit. There is something special about the city different. There is something for everyone. It's a great place to be who you are. It's accepting to the LGBTQ community. It's a great place for people that enjoy peaceful morning walks as they enjoy the beautiful sunrise overhead. It's a great place for people to, um, to enjoy the architecture. And it's a great place for artists to express themselves. The oldest house in Santa Fe is a real treasure. How many lives are crafted in this house over time? Grandfathers, dads, sons, and daughters, each with a story, each with a purpose, and each lived here. The historic plaza is known as the heart of the city. It is encompassed by restaurants, shops, and art galleries. It is also a great meeting place. This is where we started our tour on Garrett Peck's Willa Cather tour. I nor was ever put out mm -hmm. as a lesbian, but today, of course, we can now re read from her letters and it's crystal clear <laughs> which team she was on, you know? Mm -hmm. So so it's really fascinating. So Cather's kind of become, especially since her letters were published in 2011, she's become this LGBTQ icon now. And um, it took a lot of lesbians on the tour. Because <laughs> <laughs> we all claim her now, it's, it's one of us, so. <laughs> So this is a marker, there's actually two of them, there's one right around the corner on a building that's being renovated. But this is a marker for the end of the Santa Fe Trail, which ran from 1821, so the marker is actually wrong, but 1821 all the way to 1879 when the railroad came to New Mexico. But why is 1821 such an important year? Why did the Santa Fe Trail start that year? It's a little obscure facet of American history, or it's North American history, I should say. About me. Any guesses, David? It's the year that Mexico won its independence from Spain. Do you remember back from high school learning about the concept of mercantilism? No. Yeah. It was, it's an economic concept and all the, all the European empires used this, whereby the colonies were only allowed... Here to the left is a lava flow. It goes all the way over here to the, to the Cerritos Hills, which is where the turquoise came from. This is all little volcanoes all along there. You notice there's some little bump? Its name is La Tatia in Spanish. You know what that means? You're right. <laughs> you would be 100% right. Same source for the Grand Teton, which sounds like, oh, the Grand Teton. I mean, you know, it's, leave it to men. Uh, yeah, yeah like, let's call that mountain the legit. <laughs> the New Mexico Museum of Art is one of four state run museums in Santa Fe. The museum's art collection includes over 20,000 paintings, photographs, sculptures, prints, drawings, and mixed media works. It's also a venue for exhibitions, the Poetic Justice Exhibition, for example. And it brought in the picture of this woman uh, smoking a cigarette. 
So I'm going to assume that these are older photographs because I don't think today's photographs would show somebody smoking and then sticking in, in a museum. And this is a picture, oh, of a naked cowboy within a thin art, which is pretty good. The Georgia O'Keeffe Museum is dedicated to the artistic legacy of Georgia O'Keeffe, her life, American modernism, and public engagement. She is one of the most significant artists in the 20th century. She was devoted to creating imagery that expressed what she called the wilderness and wonder of the world as I live in it. The Palace of the Governors is located in the Santa Fe Historic District. It has served as the seat of government for New Mexico for centuries. But today, it is a venue where local artists can sell their works. Known as the Roundhouse, the New Mexico State Capitol is the only round capitol building in the country. It is here when in March 2019, the New Mexico legislator passed a bill in both chambers unanimous to cognify same-sex marriage in state statutes. A few blocks from the state capitol is the very popular Kakawa Chocolate House. It is a great place to taste the chocolate and chili blend. It also serves handmade chocolate and baked goods. So if you visit Santa Fe and you love chocolate, the Kakawa Chocolate House is just for you. Now when I travel, I also like to walk around. Uh, and so in Santa Fe, I walked around the historic district and I always run into gems, like this coffee shop, for example. You know, it's kind of cool, it's unique, something different. I ran into this restaurant too, Low and Slow. The, uh, the theme was Low Riders. And I know it looks empty inside, but that's because we went during like an off, off hour. And so I thought that was kind of a, a really cool restaurant type of theme, something unique. And here's what generally they play outdoor music. I was walking around, I think on a Sunday morning, like really early on a Sunday morning. And uh, yeah, so it was great. It is a awesome artistic heaven. It is a site of eternal return. It's a mind bending, interactive, explorable art experience. And it's for people of all ages. They also have concerts there at night. Sometimes you have to check the schedule, but this is, one of those places that's very unique to the area. I think there's another one, there's, there is another one located in Las Vegas, but this is the original one. And it, it's, uh, it's famous. And when you go there, you get to walk around, see some really cool lights and uh, some mazes and some hidden passageways, things like that. And here's the concert, the Fungineers, which was an awesome, awesome uh, experience. Uh, the one thing about it is, though, it is not walkable from downtown Santa Fe, so you have to take an Uber or Lyft or, or drive if you rent a car. But it, it's a great, uh, it's a great experience. We can't forget the most important part of the whole situation, which is penis. Penis. The most glorious part of a male body, or sometimes a female body, or sometimes one of those in-between genders, which are my personal favorites. Oh, 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 oh,